There's Thanks. a good piece there. Exclusive motorsport giants McLaren and tour winner Nibali team <laughs> up to topple Sky. Well, it turns out that was the exclusive on the uh, Telegraph this morning, but it turns out they don't need to uh, team up to topple Sky. There's only one more season left of Team Sky. The breaking news this morning is that uh, Sky have announced that they are withdrawing their funding and ownership of the cycling team, Team Sky, because, uh, you know, it's just come to its natural end at this stage. Nothing to do with the, the constant stream of controversy that has followed and dogged the cycling team over the last number of years, pretty much since they started winning from, you know, they managed to turn really mediocre tour riders into some of the greatest and most successful uh, grand tour winners in the history of the sport. An amazing, incredible feat of achievement um, by David Brailsford and, uh, <coughs> you know, I mean, Sky have decided that uh, they no longer want to be associated with that. This is kind of what it feels like if the Big Bang Theory was ever cancelled. Just a terrible thing being washed away. I would like for that to happen in television terms. It's finally happened in sporting terms. And I'm actually a little bit wistful. It was a fun time with Team Sky. Yeah. It was... Bradley Wiggins has come out fighting in the last few days. I mean, you kind of... This stuff flares up and flares and you're kind of like, oh, am I going to sit down and wait through 5,000 words and Bradley Wiggins? But then you're kind of like, oh, yeah. And then... Um, so the doc is now well again. He's, yeah, he's, he's, like, he's testifying this week, isn't he? Lazarus, like like uh, Tyson Fury, risen from his sick bed in the twelfth round. He was so to, he was so sick he couldn't Skype into the uh, select, select committee, committee or, uh, at the Commons because uh, obviously his infection was so viral it would have transferred over Wi-Fi into the the poor MP sitting in in Parliament. So he's a very conscientious guy, and uh, it's good to see him back up and healthy and all that sort of thing. Uh, like some of, the, some of the highlights of Team Sky, like it's got to be uh, Wiggins' wife versus Froome's wife as the highlight of Team Sky. I know th that it's technically not a Team Sky infighting situation because Wiggins was gone at that point. But for me, that was the number one Team Sky moment and they'll be sorely missed. Goodbye, Team Sky. What, what did um, Bradley Wiggins' wife say? Uh, sli uh, slithering reptile. Slithering reptile. Is what Chris Froome is. It's good. It, kinda, it has a, a bang of Harry Potter off it as well. So, um, of course, some great details coming from Martha Kellner, the sports correspondent in The Guardian about the announcement that this was happening. So Sky summoned Dave Brailsford to uh, a meeting and we're like, right, this is it, it's done. Apparently it has um, massively shocked Brailsford. Um, was informed of Sky's decision to end their ownership and sponsorship of the team last week. He, is, he was said to be shocked at the news. After over a decade of involvement in cycling, Sky is bringing to an end its partnership with Team Sky from the end of 2019. Now the, the big thing, right, so you're like, what's the big deal? It's a sponsorship of a team. It was the money that they had and that they decided to pump into it, which just gave them uh, a massive advantage. Money, obviously, in all sports creates a, a massive advantage and inequality and allows the teams to um, be completely dominant. I mean, obviously, you know. Um, anyway. Uh, so <laughs> this is one of those stories you're like, yes, let's talk about this and be very careful. Um, we're... It's going to be interesting to see how much other brands want to be associated with the, the Brailsford magic and the uh, marginal gains because um, it swept British corporate culture after <coughs> the Olympics in 2012 in particular. Um, what was the first Olympics where they started to do really well? Was it before that even? It was, wasn't it? Did they, always? Yeah, did they win a lot of stuff? Didn't Chris Hoy won a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, he? exactly. Yeah, so at that point he came out with his marginal gain stuff and business was like, oh, yeah, I mean, if we just did everything a little bit better... We'd be much better, like because it's, it's true. I mean, it's like a, it's a genius kind of repackaging of the most obvious stuff. It's like um, the best dietitian books are always like, eat less and exercise more, and, and yeah, you might lose weight. Don't have any white bread. Yeah, um, and they sell they sell millions. This whole industry is based on that. So that was that was basically um, you know. Good quality snake oil for sale here that's going to make you, mmm, very snaky. <laughs> <laughs> and and uh, corporate culture in the UK was like, oh, I need some of that snake oil. It's the best snake oil I've ever seen. So that's, um, it'll be interesting to see who steps in to stump up for the money that it takes to run the team, the, you know, the massive enterprise that it is, and the, all that equipment and all those scientists and all that data and... Um, all those, uh, all those uh, doctors. I hope it's someone shite. I hope it's like <laughs> Betty Crocker or something. It's like, what are you talking about, Betty Crocker? Or like Holland and Barrett. <laughs> Team Holland and Barrett have the yellow jersey going into the Alps. And if I like that, would just be fantastic. To show that really, it's all just about hard work. It doesn't really matter about the money and the power that you wield. 
I do feel sorry for Dave Brailsford. He's been shocked quite a bit over the past couple of years between adverse analytical findings, which obviously rattled his cage, uh, and completely unfairly so, and it all ended up being nothing to Team Sky finally pulling their sponsorship. He's been ashen quite a bit, I dare say. Um, Belly Cocker make good... Uh, you can look like you know how to make good um, cookies. You can look like you know how to make a cookie. Yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, I should He's purchase them. <laughs> Look, uh, look what I made! It's, it's almost kind of uh, a metaphor for the cycling industry. <laughs> this uh, pre-made, pre-bought stuff that um, smells and looks like it's home-cooked, and you get all the credit. Yeah. So I mean, come on, let's face it, that's actually a brilliant product. If you, if you add a little bit more cooking uh, powder, if you add a little bit more of something to it, you will have a better result. If you add a little bit more sugar, the cookies are going to be sweeter. It's basically the cooking's version of marginal gains.